Oh, thank God. Am I on? Oh, God. I'm Kimberly Guilfoyle, and I support the second nomination of President 45. President 45 has built this country from the ground up. He put tariffs on steel and pissed off Canada. He metaphorically blew up North Korea on Twitter. He was impeached and still served as our gutless commander-in-chief as if nothing ever happened, making him the greatest leader that ever lived. The only difference between Abraham Lincoln and President 45 is the hat. Our president freed us from the shackles of our former black reign. He took Obama's false sense of hope and turned it into a nightmare that only he could dream up. He speaks his mind. He fights anyone. He's always right. As commander-in-chief, he always puts America first. First in the death tolls. First in humiliation. First in stupidity. And all the other countries of the world stand in awe of us. I speak to you tonight as a mother, a former prosecutor, a Latina, and also a royal pain in the ass. Why? Because I hate the leftist values that have destroyed our country. The Democrats want your children to do heroin for free. They want your dogs to not have genders. They, they want, want poor people to eat caviar, and they would trade your guns for a carafe of coconut milk. <coughs> Just take a look at California. They are a state of immense wealth, immeasurable innovation, and beautiful scenery. And the Democrats turned it into a land of forest fires, closed stores, and worst of all, homeschooling. I used to be married to a Californian. He happens to be the failing governor of that state now. When we separated, I found out he was having an affair. He called to apologize for the incident after I had already moved to New York, and I said to him, Gavin, there's a sensitivity thing that some people have. I don't have it. I don't cry at movies. I don't gush over babies. I don't feel bad when I step over a homeless person, and I don't tell a man who's just gotten caught in a cheating scandal, that's okay. I won't let you hurt me, Gavin. It's your funeral. Mark my words. I'm not only going to ruin you, I'm going to ruin America. And that's when I said, if someone's going to cheat on me, he'd better think like me. And then I met Donald 45 Jr. and we have great sex. I call him Boppy and he calls me whore. And together we are going to make America suffer more.